Hello everyone, welcome back to the third episode of LH Bonker, where today we're going to be looking at some more cringe crap. And, like I've said before, these are just commentaries, um, being as neutral as possible, and any links that I've used will be in the description below, and of course, since they're compilations, not all of them will be used. I might start making gaming videos very soon, I might make... Two game videos a day. Two game videos a day, hmm? You know what? Let me add a counter to, to that. Or three to four to five game videos a day. And up to seven vlogs a day. No, but three vlogs a day. Hey guys. Four MacBooks? What the fuck? And Frank here, so I needed to make a video because something really bad happened. Oh no, is one of your MacBooks dead? Huh. What happened was, I got in a fight with my mom because this is the phone I wanted, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, and this is the phone I got, Samsung Galaxy S6. So you're gonna make a big deal because you didn't get the S6 Edge but an S6? You do realize it is probably even sturdier, knowing your love of technology. I have no idea. What the fuck? Four MacBooks! What the hell? And if your parents were mine, and I would have gotten an S6 instead of an S6 Edge, I wouldn't care at all. I'd actually be very delighted with what I have. Man. Kids these days. Now you can see there's a pretty drastic difference between the two. It's got a curved screen, and one of them is gray, the other one's blue. Hooray. So, um, that made me really angry, and, um, I broke one of my MacBooks. I knew it! She broke, well, one MacBook. Huh. Let's see how she did it. The reason I need four MacBooks is because this one's for sending messages, this one's for receiving messages, um, this one is for blocking messages, and then this one right here is for leaving messages on scene. You need four laptops for one for sending, one for receiving, one for blocking, and one for, uh, I think it was sending messages something else, I don't know. You do realize you can do that with only one of them. And then some way, some more. But no. I don't know if she's a troll or not, but... Son of a gun. And as you can see, there's some marks on it. I don't see marks. Was my favorite key, the W key, right here. It fell off. Oh no, it fell off. Boo hoo hoo hoo. So I really, really, really need a new MacBook. Or how about use the three others you have sitting right in front of you? Jeez, talk about non-efficient, non-efficient. Oh. Or money to fix this one. And we can't afford it right now because we're really financially struggling. Oh, I see. You're financially struggling. Let's see. You've told us... You didn't get the S6 Edge, which he definitely did show us. There's an S6, there's four MacBooks, and you're in financial debt because, especially looking at the background, you look like some sort of a spoiled princess. You're there, they're in financial debt? Well, I hate to say it to be that harsh, but I'm sorry, but you're the one to blame. And your parents should know better to just not spoil you like this. From medical bills because um, I sustained an injury while I was beating up my laptop. So this one right here, band-aids on it and everything. Band-aids? No, 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 no. Sorry, honey, but it's the electronics in front of you. Grow up. Yeah, if you guys could donate to me to get a new MacBook or to fix this one, then that would be a lot of help. You're going to be ungrateful by the amount of money you get, number one. Number two, nobody in the right mind's gonna give money to a spoiled brat like you. And on top of that, one MacBook is enough to do exactly everything you want. 
because I really do need all of these MacBooks and it isn't my fault that I broke my laptop. It's not her fault that she broke the laptop. It is. To the end of time, homie. You're vlogging, or whatever that's supposed to be, in a Walmart. You know what I'm saying? For reals. And while this guy punches thin air, you can see customers behind shopping, looking at him, thinking, what the fuck? That's what I think of it. It's a Walmart. What are you doing there? Stay at home if you want to do that. All right, next up is a confirmed troll, but I decided to add it because, well, uh, I decided to have some fun with it. Hi guys, I'm taking a break from my regular petition videos this week. He's taking a break. He what what what, what 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 petition videos? That's a first. I recently broke up with my other girlfriend because some guy on Facebook kind of convinced me he was a girl, and we we we've been sexting each other. Dumbass. I'd say about a good four months now, I've sent him pictures of my body and stuff, and then he just turned out yesterday and told me he was a hermaphrodite. Herm... Hermaphrodite? Hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. I don't even know what that is. He just said I'm a male her her hermaphrodite or her hermaphrodite. He doesn't even know how to say it either. Hermaphrodite, hermaph. You know what? Let's look this up. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Hit up the good old search engine. Hermaph. Uh, nope. Oh boy. Hermaphrodite. H e r m i d a p h i d i t e. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> a mix between a hermit crab and a boy. Oh, where do they come up with this stuff? I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to assume it's something to do with homosexuality and atheism or something. Um, so yeah, I'm in. I'm I'm kind of looking for an internet girlfriend. I p prefer if you were like kind of tallish. Kind of like a modelish type of body. You're hot. Oh no! Here comes the physical requirements. <sighs> Let's hear them all. I, I like my tan girls. Like if you're covered in fake tan, that's kind of okay. But don't don't go OT where you look like Snooky. Um, but Snooky's kind of hot too. I kind of like black hair. Um. I don't like pimples. If you have one pimple, no thank you. I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, you have to be into vampires. And also, I want you to meet my cat. You have to be into cat. Come here, Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers, will you come to the front desk, please? Oh man, poor Mr. Whiskers. Uh, this is my cat, Mr. Whiskers. Say hello, Mr. Whiskers. I feel you, bro. I feel you. You have a terrible owner. Find me a girlfriend. We want a girlfriend for Jared. Okay. I found his perfect girlfriend. Here it is. You like it? And with that, next. Have you have you heard of gravity? Everybody knows gravity. Don't tell me you're one of those airheads, please. If you haven't, then you're taking advantage of it. Full of hot air. How the hell can she still survive? What the fuck? We are running out of gravity. No, you're not running out of gravity. We're not running out of air. We're not running out of trees. We're not running out of grass. We're definitely not running out of bugs. We're running out of intelligent people. Or at least we're running out of common sense. I noticed this when I started running. And then, soon after, I started losing my breath. Wah! Wah, wah, my breath is gone because I ran. It's normal. Get used to it. Hoping that the, the, that the breath would get in my breath. 
She really wants breath going in her breath. You need to breathe air. Air doesn't breathe in you. You just, you have to breathe it in. What is this? Some sort of, what do you want? A res uh, respiratory machine? Come on. You don't need to need, you don't need to be on life support. You need to be on intellectual support. Gravity. We're all taking advantage of it. We need to quit gravity for a little bit. You know what? Yeah, I agree. You know what? Here you go. Here, this is me quitting gravity for good. As you can see, reality hits. Oh, look at that. I actually got a headache out of it. Once we actually do run out of gravity, we won't really notice. Sure you won't notice. Yeah, you'll just be flying away in space. Thank you guys for watching. Especially you, Michael from Vsauce. You are spectacular. And now she's making advances to the guy. Typical, typical. Okay, am I just looking at a picture of a woman on the f on the wall or on the floor? I don't know. I got a lot of jewels, anyways. Hi. Holy sh! Today I'm on the floor. If you want me to stay on the floor. Leave a comment that says floor. No, 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 no. If you don't want me to be on the floor, leave a comment that says no floor. Are you gonna go through this? Are you really gonna do that? Leave a comment. Leave a comment down below and say floor if you want me to stay on the floor. Fuck. What is this? The the community is just going to muppet this woman around. I, oh. Oh. <laughs> Basically, um, a hard time I've been going through is deciding whether or not I'm Japanese. Looking at the skin, you're Caucasian. Recently, I've been like reading lots of manga and anime, and like you know, like I also really like their food, like sushi and like all that kind of stuff. So, manga anime, anyways, you might be into the Japanese culture, but you're still a Caucasian. I now identify as, um, Nihonjin. Wow! Good job, Kim Il-sung. This woman is beyond repair. Japanese culture, you're not Japanese. P end of story. Next! Anyways, that's enough for the third episode of L.H. Barker, where today we seem to have found the airhead but uh, yeah so if you have any um, special editions I should do on that like maybe a special edition on uh, reddit and specific specific types of groups or people you can let me know down below that's not a problem and of course until next time stay bold and take care I'm going to therapy